Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 14th, 2020. I almost said January 14th. <laughs> Go back and look at January 14th, 2020, see what the message was. I don't know, but I felt like I needed to say that, but this is July 14th, <laughs> 2020. All right, so let's see what we have going on here for today, what our card is. we have petrified wood ancestors this is so funny i just started having some spirit guide activity that felt very much like ancestors and i was like oh there you guys are like you know because when the angels came in there wasn't so much of that going on and here we go <laughs> the ancestors so petrified wood what is your past what do you come from what wisdom do the and i'm finally going to go with this message what wisdom do the ancestors hold for you and can pass along to you? Now, sometimes people, again, make sure everything that you're doing, any bit of spiritual practice is not coming from the ego, right? I mean, there are so many beautiful healers out there and beautiful messengers who end up getting sort of, sort of buried under the con artists. I said it. <laughs> we're here and we're doing this, okay? So why should their true light be overshadowed by these dark intentions? You feel me? So we as a world, we need to, part of the wisdom that feels like it's coming through right now, is to stop giving in to the false light. And that's something that our ancestors have been trying to get us to understand for the longest time. Stop giving in to the false light. It's just going to compound. It's just going to get worse from here if we are not careful, all right? So groundedness is a big message here too and the message has been coming up for a while there's this huge pattern of be grounded do not get delusional <laughs> don't go running away with your ideas you know it's time to be very very present and mindful and realize what true shifts we need to make who are the unsung heroes who are the people that really do show up and they're quiet they're, they don't brag about things who are the people that always get the attention and who are the people who would just kind of suffer in silence and get through everything on their own? Maybe stop giving in to the people who are always whining and crying because they chipped a nail and oh my God, oh my God, while these people are being traumatized over here. We do this. We're on autopilot. It's a real thing, okay? Where we're constantly giving over to someone who seems extra fragile when they're really just trying to siphon attention out of you, siphon your energy. And the people who are really going through it They've just become numb to their situation. They still, well, maybe not numb. They still feel the pain of it, but they've learned to not speak up because they will be called a complainer. This person over here is whining and making themselves a huge victim, maybe over something that's very, very small. And you'll know the people who act like that because they get very defensive. Oh, my pain means just as much as yours. I agree if you're really going through pain, your pain is just as valid as anybody else's. But the question is, are you really going through pain? Or are you just trying to connive everybody so that you seem like a victim? We need to wake up to that. We need to wake up to that. And when people try to silence us by saying you're not spiritual, you're argumentative, you're this, you're that, again, it's just a, a brainwashing technique. Don't give into it. All right? We're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.